Uh, the Alpha Nero. Yes. I know that um, we have had uh, scenarios where there were people who believe that it will be never sold. Um, at what point did we reach to the point uh, where we have reduced it from uh, a value of what, 120 million to 30 million? Uh, what's no, the rational uh, behind first it? First of all, they said that we could not have gotten the sanctions lifted. Mm -hmm. I believe we're the only country so far that has had um, the sanctions um, listed from any ship that has been seized uh, since these sanctions were placed on these Russian oligarchs. Mm -hmm. So we defied odds there, and we got the sanctions listed. As you know, we tried to sell the boat um, by public auction. We had Mr. Schmidt, um, former CEO of Google, mm -hmm. who, who had bid $67 million. Then we had Mr. Halley, another very wealthy um, U.S. Um, billionaire, who had bid for 66. Mm -hmm. Now, what has happened is that um, the, 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 there has been several litigations that have been filed by the, by the daughter of uh, Mr. Gervey, um, who they say is the owner of the boat. She now claims it is hers. And um, as a consequence of the litigations, uh, these two bidders actually pulled out. Mm. And then subsequently we heard from Mr. Halley. He reduced his offer to, I think it was about 32 million, something like that. Mm. There have been several bids within the last year. And remember, too, we've been struggling with this boat for over two years now. Yes. Uh, uh, but the bids were like in the 30s. We have had as low as 25. So when this gentleman, um, Turkish gentleman, showed up um, about two weeks ago, hmm. uh, in fact, he started at 25. And the reason for that is that he bought a similar boat that um, is a few years newer than Alpha Nero, hmm. similar size boat. He bought it for $25 million, and he made a case to us that, um, you know, he could not justify offering more than $25 million for Alfa Nero. And I recall that, you know, in fact, I was in initial discussions, mm -hmm. and I said to him, well, if, if you're starting at 25, you're insisting at 25, well, guess what? We can have a serious conversation about this. Mm -hmm. And the discussions ended there. Uh, tell him I'd follow up. And um, he inched up and inched up and inched up until we got him up to 40 million. Oh. And then um, at 40, he was prepared to walk away. So we took the, we took the 40 um, million dollars yeah, offer. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think it's a good opportunity. Now, it was valued about two years ago at about 120 million with a for sale value of 60. But if you know um, the situation with these vessels, they deteriorate um, exponentially. Mm -hmm. And what was happening too? It was not only depreciating, but it was racking up a significant amount of bills. Yeah. The fuel alone that is outstanding for that ship is three million US. Are you in a position to tell us how much we have expended over the two years? I mean, we would have expended over a million US dollars, but we're going to recover the money now. Mm -hmm. uh, but the point is, we were we were we were liable for the fuel, mm -hmm. and even West Indies Oil Company is owed about one point. Uh, one point something million US. Hmm. Uh, so with all these uh, fees, well, even if you spend ten million on it, into your microphone, Donna. even if you spend <coughs> ten million on it, between legal fees, outstanding um, fuel costs, and so you walk <coughs> out with thirty million that we didn't have. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we have done, we got all forty million dollars, and we just used the money um, to pay down pay down our debts. I'm told I'm um, just today. That apparently um, some entity going to court next week to try and seize the money. Mm -hmm. uh, that's fine. It's already spent, so I don't know what they're going to seize. <laughs> <laughs> Strategy again. That's why proving you're the best friend. Uh, you know. Uh,